What's up, everybody? This is O to the A from Batissimo, and today we're going to be talking about commands. So go ahead and head over to your Batissimo account and head over to the commands tab, and you'll see what we're working with here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll talk about how to create a command. You create a command by clicking on create new. You'll get a little pop up here that gives you some options to select. So for starters, we have the name of the command. This is basically what the person will need to type in the chat to make the command actually work. So for the cases of ours, we'll just do, let's just do test for now. Okay, so when the user does test, it will trigger the command. The next section is the response. So the response is what the bot will say back in to the chat when a user uses the command. So for our purposes, we'll just say, hello world, hello world, okay? Uh, for platforms, we can choose which platforms we want this command to work on. Um, by default, it will work everywhere, but if we wanted to only allow it to work on Twitch or Discord or whatever, you just select the appropriate options here to limit what you want. We'll go ahead and let all platforms use it. Uh, the next is the missing, or sorry, missing, the minimum permission. Uh, so the minimum permission is what permissions are required to use this command. Uh, typically when you're creating a fun command for the chat, you want to make sure everyone can use it. Uh, but you can also limit the command to subscribers, uh, maybe only moderators if it's more of a utility type command, and then the admin slash owner, which is yourself. Uh, the only caveat to the admin owner is that in Discord, this also includes any users that have been given admin permissions, not just the owner. Cool, so test, hello world, we'll set everyone so everyone can use it. Uh, the next thing is the command alias. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and ignore this one for now. For most cases, this will not be used. Uh, this is optional and it's really for triggering other commands with this command. Um, so we'll leave that empty. The next part is the description, which is also optional. And this will show up on the on your user accounts public commands page if you have it here. So we'll just say um, this is to test the commands. Cool. Uh, we can next we have show on public commands page. We can decide whether we want it to show up. We will say yes. You might want to make it private if it's a uh, if you have like an admin owner or moderator style command then maybe you don't want everyone to know that it even exists. So you can hide it from the command page there. Uh, the next option is to match globally. Uh, what this means is that the, the command trigger here, test, if this is checked, match globally, then what it means is that you could write exclamation test anywhere in the message and it will still trigger the command. If you don't have this checked, then it will only work if it's at the beginning of the command. So we're gonna leave that unchecked. Uh, skip the chat relay when using this command. This is for the chat relay. Um, if you don't want commands, or if you don't want it to relay when people use this command, you can skip it if you want. Um, we're gonna leave that empty. And then also you can choose to respond to the user with a whisper so that they get a private DM back instead of a message to the public chat. Um, so we're gonna leave that off as well. We'll go ahead and click save to save our command. And now you'll see that we've got our command here in the list, we've got the name, we have how many times it's been used, it's, it's brand new so it's been used zero times. We can see what the response is and then we can also see what platforms that it's available on. Now, if we want to do some actions on it, we can click on this little button to open up our options. We can reset it 
this would be if we had you know maybe 10 uses or 100 uses or whatever if we hit reset here that use counter will reset uh, we can edit it which will bring our command modal back open where we can choose um, to change settings if we want like for example let me say you know what I do want I do want this to match globally so let's go ahead and save that and then also we have the option to delete it and if you try to delete a command you will be given a confirm message and if you really want to delete it you can but we're not going to delete it just yet okay so we created our first command <clears throat> Now let's go see how it works. So we'll head over to the channel that we are setting these commands up in and we will send the message test. Boom, hello world comes back. So that is the most basic usage of the commands. Just a simple, I send a message to you and, you, and the bot sends a message back to me. And to just show the global aspect of it, you can also do this is a test. And wait, did we turn that on? No. Oh, you know what? I think it's because Bottissimo is not a moderator. So it doesn't like that it's trying to send the same message multiple times in a row. Alright, we'll try again and we'll see if that was our problem. Yeah, okay. So we just got hit by the spam filter and that actually is a great example of why Bautissimo really needs to be a moderator in your channel otherwise you will see some uh, interesting or you know you'll see some missed responses like that because the twitch chat server will actually block uh, Bautissimo from sending more messages uh, if it's not a moderator so it can be very important to make Bautissimo a moderator in your channel Okay, so we see how to create a command, how to use them. Um, also, we talked about the public page. If you see here, you can view commands. We'll go ahead and open that, and you'll see that you actually have a public page that's got the command listed here that people can see um, information about it. So, of course, that would be missing if I turned this off. So now it shouldn't be on the commands page and it's not. So no commands found because we removed it from the public commands page, right? All right. And then lastly here, we have the default command permissions. Uh, and this applies to the commands that are already built in to Bautissimo. See, we have quite a few commands built in. Um, boom, 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 boom. So lots of commands and you can go through and you can say, well, I only want moderators to be able to use this built-in command or, you know, I only want, um, or, you know, maybe I actually want to disable this one. You can disable these as well um, here. So something to take a look at. And then of course you can find out tons of information about all of the built-in commands by heading over to docs.bottissimo.com and clicking on commands and boom you can see we've got a ton of built-in commands and we've taken the time to really um, break them all down and give sort of like a little quick example of it being used and explaining what it does and all that kind of stuff so definitely take the time to check out all these um, built-in commands and then as I said back here, you can click on edit default command permissions and you can kind of control the permissions of those built-in commands. Uh, if you create a command here, you're, if you create a custom command with the same name as one of these built-in commands, it will override it. You will, so if you create a command called exclamation mark currency, this command here will no longer work and it will respond using your custom 
create uh, your custom command version. So that can be a cool way to override some of the built-in uh, default commands. Cool, so the next thing I wanted to share is just a little bit about response variables. Uh, this is a cool way to make your command a little more, uh, in, I don't say interactive, but dynamic, right? So that it's not just a hello world, but it actually could, you know, maybe say hello O to the A or like the username, right? So same thing with the built-in commands. We have taken the time to document a lot of these uh, built-in, what we call response variables. Uh, so be sure to check them out. Uh, it's just a nice way to input dynamic content into your responses. So we'll go ahead and give an example of like how that would work and why. So for this, we'll keep our test command, but in just instead of saying hello world, we'll actually want to say hello to the person who sent the message, right? So what we want to do is we want to use the username variable. Variables are wrapped in a parentheses with a money sign at the beginning. This is kind of a, this is a templating technique stolen from some other, um, you know, some other tools that just exist. Not necessarily chat bots, but you know, web page renders and all kinds of things like that. So we've just stolen this uh, syntax. So we'll put hello username, right? And We'll see how that affects things. Okay, so we'll come over here and we will test. Hello, O to the A. That's pretty cool, right? It actually transforms username into the username of the user who sent the message. So we can say hello username. We can also do other things like, hello username, welcome to channel. Save it. We'll do our test command once again. Ah, see, welcome to I suck at guitar. So yeah, cool way to add some dynamic stuff um, and what this would be useful for channel as well as if it was if they were in mixer or youtube it would respond slightly differently if you have maybe different channel names uh, another popular another super popular reason that people will use the uh, response variables is to do something like a shout out command right so i create a command called shout out and then whenever i use it i want it to tell um, everyone to like go check out the usernames or go check out the user's channel so for this one we actually want to be able to specify the user as opposed to using the username of the user that used the command uh, i know that's probably kind of confusing but as we saw here if o to the a sends the message it responds with o to the a but what we want to do is actually be able to make it respond with another user. So what we will use is the target. So we'll use the target variable. Shout out to target. Check out their channel at twitch.tv slash target plane. All right. And we'll talk about what this does, but first I'll show you it in action so that you can see it work and then we'll explain how it works. So we'll do shout out and in this case we're actually going to shout out another user. So uh, we'll do I suck at guitar just for sake of it being someone else who's in the channel and go. Hit the shout out. Wait a minute. Did I enable it and do everything? Nope. See? Ah. Here's another lesson to be learned. Make sure that you set the minimum permissions properly, right? Uh, it defaults to moderator to be on the secure side so that you don't accidentally create a command 
that you didn't want available to everyone. Uh, so it's a little inconvenient, but security means inconvenience a little bit. So we need to make sure to select everyone so that everyone can use it in this case. All right, let me try again. Boom! Shout out to I Suck at Guitar. Check out their channel at twitch.tv slash I Suck at Guitar. So this automatically pops out and you can see it's kind of, it's dynamic based on the, the username that we put. So I can also say shout out O to the A if for some, you know, I want to shout out myself. And I can also shout out Latissimo and it will output the proper target, if you will. Now the way that that works is because we, as I said, we used this target variable. Now what target does is it actually just takes the next, the next text, well, getting some crazy highlighting here, takes the next text after the command and uses that. So that's how we end up outputting the name here every time. Target plane does very similar, except it will strip the at symbol. So if you see here, it actually does shout out to at Bautissimo, but then check out their channel at twitch.tv slash Bautissimo without the at symbol, because the at symbol would actually break the URL here. So um, this is a way to use their username without, the min without it being like a mention style. So, cool. Well, I hope that that clears up and shows a lot of the cool features and possibilities of the custom commands. Uh, definitely, as I said, check out all these response variables that we've got. Lots of different stuff where you can output the name of the bot, for example, uh, the count, the number of times the command's been used. We can output things like how many hours the user has been viewing the stream. Uh, we can do some pretty neat stuff like, for example, um, we can do their XP. We can limit to what, we can limit the text to, to certain platforms so that certain text only shows up when the command gets used on Mixer versus when the command gets used on Twitch. Uh, we can, we can just do straight up JavaScript if we want to just do custom JavaScript. So the, the possibilities are maybe not endless, but they're, they're a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, uh, I think I got nothing else. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy continuing to use Bautissimo. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.